Hey guys, it's Justine and today I've got something very exciting. I know, I know every time I start a video out, I say it's gonna be exciting because usually it is. I'm not gonna make a video about something not exciting. Today we're checking out the brand new hot pink iPod Touch. The announcement of this kind of took everybody by surprise. I feel like, like it was definitely something that we weren't expecting. It kind of came out of nowhere. You guys started tweeting me nonstop because of this. It comes in this beautiful hot pink color. Crazy is a few days before this was announced, I had tweeted about wanting a pink iPhone, and then a few days before that, I had made a video talking about how badly I wanted a pink iPhone, and then a concept creator made this for me. This beautiful render of what an iPhone 11R could potentially look like, and then this is announced, which I was excited about, but also a little bit upset, because if they made a pink iPod, that means they probably aren't gonna make a pink iPhone, or it could mean they are gonna make a pink iPhone because they already have the pink here. The color is here, this is exactly the color that I had wanted. I tweeted because I was super excited about the color and everyone kept saying, just seeing there was already a pink iPod, but I don't think that this is pink. They may have called it pink, but this is more of like a salmonish type color. So yes, while they have had a pink iPod previously, this is like a hot pink. I also made this little chart here. So this was kind of a chart of showing all of the pink iPods in iPod history. It was kind of crazy because I didn't actually realize that there were so many. Anyway, let's open. I've been talking too much. Was that it? Was that the only thing that I needed to take off? I haven't had an iPod in so long. It's beautiful. Oh wow, it's so small. Look how tiny, it is like a baby. I mean, this pink color is absolutely, this is exactly the color that I wanted. It's almost like the apple like went into my brain and made this color from my mind. This is exactly the color that I love. Let's see what else is in here. Paperwork, lovely. Lightning cable, great. And some ear pods. Now for the moment I've been waiting for, and you probably have been too. How do you come out of there? You are in there, aren't you? <gasps> Look at this. Okay, we gotta peel the sticker off. Oh my gosh. compared to the iPhone XS Max, plus I have this battery charger on it, so this is so massive. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Let's turn it on. This is great. Set up new iPod Touch, unlock to continue, all right. So one of the things that a lot of people were saying is who's gonna buy an iPod Touch? And to you, I'm saying, well, obviously, maybe you aren't. This definitely isn't something that I would need because I have an iPhone, but for children or people who may have an Android device or a phone that is not an iPhone, this is basically all you would need to listen to music. It also has iMessage. This also has the A10 Fusion chip, so it is incredibly fast. So you can do augmented reality, you can play games. So essentially, this is a very tiny, small little phone without the data. This comes in three different storage capacities. There is the 32, the 128, and the 256, and there are five different colors. You have this beautiful pink, but we also have space gray, white, gold, blue, and the product red. So if the pink isn't something that you're into, you've got some other color options. As far as price goes, these start at $199, which is kind of crazy because that is one of the least expensive iOS devices. Most people may not want to buy the latest and greatest phone, but if you just want to listen to music, watch content, have something to play games, on, then this is basically all you would need. I actually think it's pretty smart that they release these because the price point is so low. That just means that more people can have iOS devices in their hands, which means they will have more subscriptions to Apple Music, to the Apple Arcade, to the new Apple Premium TV service, to Apple News, to everything Apple. I also think this could potentially be someone's first Apple device, especially younger kids or people that have families. You don't want to be giving your kids your iPhone, so you would probably want to give them something that is a little bit less expensive, but still be able to do pretty much everything. You can still send messages, you can do FaceTime calls, you can actually do group FaceTime calls on this as well. I've only used the group FaceTime a few times, but I don't know if you guys remember, Judner did this incredible video of a group FaceTime. There was like 
28 of us on there, maybe even more. I think this is the first time anybody actually tested this. Yeah. We've I'm surprised this Godspeed. is working as well as it is. Right, I agree. Yeah, it's so smooth. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little floating effect of everybody's yeah. face when they come to the forefront. It's very is subtle. This the I saw a lot of people on Twitter asking what this little black section was on the iPod Touch. I was actually wondering the same thing myself, so I Googled it, and it turns out this is the Wi-Fi antenna. I also saw some threads of people talking about saying you can put a case on this, you can cover the antenna, and it doesn't affect the signal strength. So that's the new iPod Touch. I would love to know what you guys think of this. Do you have an iPod, which iPods have you had in the past? Do you guys wanna check out that iPod history picture that I talked about earlier? I'll put a link to my tweet in the description so you can go check that out. But I would love to know what you guys think of this. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's not a good idea? Would you get one? I think it's great. I mean, it really is an iPhone without the data plan. Wi-Fi is everywhere. So really, if you needed to, you could get by by using just this and no phone. Maybe I should do a video about that. <gasps> 24 hour challenge using the iPod Touch only as my communication device. That's actually so easy, like that's not even a challenge. I would have all of my email, I could still make phone calls, I could text. I don't think that's a fair challenge. Okay, this is a front-facing test of the iPod Touch. Look at that. Oh, oh we have a helicopter incoming. Where is it? Do you think there's crime? There might be some crime. This is it, front-facing test. <laughs> I'm walking around. Looks pretty good. Okay, this is back facing camera. That's me! That is you. It's you. It's me. It's me, it's you. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> but I do have my AirPods in, so does this make me cool? You left your case over here. Oh shoot, I need it. It's got my name on it. How cool, I forgot to do that when I purchased mine. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at WWDC. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell, also follow me on Twitter and Instagram as iJustine. Bye. Oh, I can't wait, WWDC is gonna be so fun. Maybe I'll bring my pink iPod and I will, don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll just hold it and carry it around like this. This is gonna be me at WWDC. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful.